To a certain extent, golf is a targeted game, an alignment game, and that's no more relevant than when we're putting. We've got a very small ball aiming for a very small target, sometimes quite a long way away. Of course, aiming it in the right direction is fundamentally important, and one of the biggest aspects of putting is getting the ball to start on the right line. So alignment is crucial. Now, that's alignment of quite a few different factors, by the way. It might be alignment of the feet and body, it might be alignment of the club head, and we might even help ourselves by aiming the ball in the right line as well. So the first thing I might do is take a line on the back of my golf ball and aim it towards the hole. So there we go, that's aiming towards the target. The next consideration might be that I then stand my feet square to that line and position my club square to that line. Now the important thing to remember here is we're talking about square to the line, not straight to the target. Because you can imagine if that's my ball to target line, that's where I want the, the ball to roll. If I stand my feet pointing at the same target, I've now created two lines that aren't parallel. Those two lines would eventually meet at a triangular point because my body is aiming at the hole and that's the wrong thing to do. Your feet should not aim at the hole, your feet should aim as a right-handed golfer parallel left, so this distance away from the golf ball, I should be aiming this distance left of the flag. I should be aiming around about here with my feet and then my knees, my hips, my shoulders, my body, everything aims perfectly. So if I've aimed everything perfectly, the ball's lined up, the body's lined up, everything's looking good, surely the ball should go in. Well, you'll see with this ball, it doesn't have a chance of going in it goes quite a long way left. Because what I did there was I aimed straight at the hole, thinking that was the best way to play because my alignment was straight for the hole. Whereas in reality, this ball has curve and break. So your alignment needs to be pointing at your start direction, where you want the ball to roll over, not necessarily straight towards your intended target or finishing destination. And that involves reading the green successfully. So once we've had a good read of the green, we can then align to our start direction rather than our finishing direction. And hopefully you'll have more success than me if you're aiming better.